Hello everybody and welcome back to my summer car and in this episode, well it's finally Monday so I can go to the shop because I need a new battery because the one on this is utter trash you know, couldn't even... oh well that probably explains why it wouldn't start I just thought it was just yeah, I suppose I'm going to have to pull that apart again now I... well that explains why it didn't start but I'm still going to go take the van into town and get stuff. I got a juice bottle in here. And in the back, um, I'm gonna have to go chuck these out somewhere. Because I do not want to lug all this. You know what, actually I'm gonna come back in a minute. Alright, welcome back. I finally dealt with all that. And anyway, as I was saying earlier, the plan is today is to go buy some supplies from the shop. And I took that too soon, didn't I? Oh well, doesn't matter too much. And I suppose well, at least we've got a seatbelt now. And yeah, generally get back into the swing of things. And also, I got a phone call from Timo saying that the parts had arrived, which I think is probably maybe something to do with the glitched order I had several months ago. And about three or four updates back. But seeing as that battery is. Really stupid truck. And seeing as um, I need probably going to end up hauling a bunch of stuff, I better take the van. Also, I'm pretty sure that battery isn't going to start. And just take it easy along here. Because we all know how terrible this is. Um, let's see. The reality is, it's about 50 kilometers now. It's about as safe, fast as you can safely go on this thing. At least on the gravel. Yeah, I mean these things, especially when you haven't got any weight on the back, they are very squirrely. I mean, I've driven vans like this in real life, and you could chip the tyres um, away from the lights without even trying. And certainly driving one in the wet is an utter nightmare. That's something I don't want to repeat anytime soon. Anyway, it's a little, I'm a little annoyed that my plans for the, this playthrough got a bit screwed up by um, the wheels disappearing on Friday night. And so I'm sort of trying to salvage the situation now, though I do have a full week to get everything because I knew it was or actually missing a few parts that I probably could have, that had been introduced uh, later on. Because I said this has been an ongoing playthrough over the last seven, eight months. I actually should have probably just recorded all of these episodes back to back and then up before uploading any of them and I think if I ever do another playthrough of this I'll certainly do it that way as it tends to result in less getting screwed by the updates oh wow talk about getting screwed over um, Yeah, that wasn't there last time. Yeah, I haven't played this game for a while, so... Stuff like the working odometer down there is quite new to me. And there's the train there. And, and the van and all that, uh, and I think the truck is all new to me, so... Uh, because I haven't played it since the wheel up, the update that broke the wheels and all that, and I was kind of annoyed with it. And I've sort of sat on it for a month or two. I think last time I actually played the game was early on in January, and I think I remembered why I had stopped before and sort of left it at that again. I just decided, well, to hell with it, I started this. I should finish it. Um, and yeah, yesterday's episode was a bit of a fiasco because I forgot to put the chain back on, so odds are I'm going to have to take all of that apart to figure out if I've got the timing back in the right place. Still, that's something for me to do tonight. Um, I won't record that because it'll just be a lot of me swearing. Because I found that the old script I used to use to slave the mouse wheel controls to the keyboard doesn't seem to work anymore. Which is strange. I have no idea. Maybe the game's been set up to just ignore it. And I probably shouldn't have come spinning and eating out like that. And just we're on a decent road now, and I can just put my foot down. And if I remember rightly, the speed limit in this van is about, you're supposed to only do about 80. I probably should have lifted off for that. 
And I'm going to go a little bit faster and then just hit the brakes if I see any cops. And I think there's an achievement for getting a speeding ticket, which I have somehow managed to avoid despite all my stupid driving. I also magically got an achievement when I started earlier, so I don't know why it recorded that but for driving 100 kilometers in the Satsuma, so maybe I've done that and just hasn't recorded until now. Or well, it's a new achievement. I knew there was one for a thousand kilometers in the Satsuma. Have to phone him right this van gets very dodgy and it's handing over a hundred. Yeah, that's not a cop. And of course this is a long ass drive into town. And yeah, I do have a lot of memories fine in this game, but I don't think it was actually what I was recording. Like, one time when I was driving to town, I actually had a phone call from someone at Telemarket or something. I don't think I actually kept that piece of record. If I was recording, I didn't keep it. It was kind of funny, but rather annoying at the same time, because I was rather in the mood to game and not deal with anything else. Anyway, probably keep you a lot of talk. I've been talking too much. Um, I might skip this bit, next bit through to town. This, um, or not. Uh, I actually have no idea what I'm going to do. As, as I said, my original scheduled plan was win the rally on Saturday and screw around on the island on Sunday, but might end up going there early simply because I don't have much else to do. maybe pick up the drunk man where was the place the cops used to hide out I think it was back there and then they randomized it so can't really guarantee it anymore god this thing smokes a lot anyway I'm just sort of in time to that ramp thing is We should keep my eyes on the road while I'm driving, and also I suppose I can find the wrecked cars and take them to the mechanic one day, seeing as that wasn't originally in the schedule, but... Oh hey, we've gone all the way to the town and I'm still talking. And that's actually pretty impressive. And let's see if I can finally pay this bill so that I can order more stuff. Really dude, don't walk in the middle of the road if you don't want to get run over. And we're finally there. And it takes about six, seven minutes. I gotta remember to lay off that. And I got plenty of fuel, so I don't need to deal with that. There's the idiots. That could have ended badly. Um, let's see, I'll just pull up here. And then let's see, turn that off. And I'm still going to have to get used to that because that wasn't as in the game for so long. Alright. Now, what was the key for giving the finger? Alright, I have to look at this. I'll push in. I stop V. <laughs> All right. We should talk a hexa. We should talk a five and a meter sinulla. Finally, it's been bugging me for about three or four updates. And. I'll just get in there. So, nothing? Nothing? Whatever. Whatever, man. Right, um, 
One of those, one of those, one of those. Can't we buy this stuff? You know, we could buy some more of this stuff. Um, yeah, I'll buy one of those because I can't remember where mine is. Yeah, that's all I really need. Oh yeah, plus one pack of those. I also need to go do some work. Right. Guess we should go home and see what the damage to the Satsuma was. Oh no, I want that in there. As I kinda just cranked the engine over without the thing in. I'm lucky it is nothing serious. Right, battery. And I guess I'll see you lot when I get home and start tearing into the Satsuma again. Though what I'm first going to do is I'm just going to check. See if I can sort of eyeball the part without taking the covers off because otherwise more sh crap will happen. Yes, good day to you too. Fruit. Right, let's see. Now I want to sit there and see. Yeah, whatever. And anyway, as I was saying, I'll see you lot when I get back. Right, we're back home, finally. And I'll stick that up on the shelf with that one. Nice that there's a way of actually telling if there's anything in those. And I suppose I should go eat something, but first I'm going to grab... Now this wasn't... I didn't buy any food, did I? So this could all come in here. Yeah, alright, let's see. And there's the torch. Alright, um, I'm not going to do anything with those just now. I might later on because I don't really need the seat covers because I have the wrong seats. So they can come up on these shelving units. And let's see. set of fags and oh really yeah yeah I also have that staring at me god why don't it what an oversight I think it's because I'm just too used to um like car mechanic simulator where it basically holds your hand yeah, no, I have to go get that from the car, don't I? You shouldn't do that, but then this is a game and it isn't going to damage them. And let's see. I actually should, wish I could buy several of these without having to end up with brackets piling up everywhere. Because I'd probably keep a few around the house seeing as you can now set it on fire. And I left the jack in there, didn't I? Um, don't know why I'm missing the seat belt for that side. I guess it's not important. Alright, now comes the fun part uh, first, but first I'm going to change out the oil filter somehow. Not it. Um, where is the oil filter on this thing? It's on the side, isn't it? And now I'm under the car, but. Alright. Yeah. There it is. What a twit. And it can 
can go over there. I won't throw it out because you might actually need it again at some point in the future. Because if these ever get um, t tweaked, they might end up back in the in the what's it called in the shop. Now where can I get close enough to finish headbutt that engine? And I need to be on the other side. Yeah, I might actually just have to pull everything back apart. Alright, actually, and I don't want to do that on camera, so I might just end up leaving this as a short episode. Because I really don't want to go through all of that again. And I'm pretty certain all of you don't either. Oh well, I suppose I better get into this. Alright, I've put everything back in. And it actually took me, since I wasn't recording, it took me all of two minutes to do. And seriously, I don't know why it is that whenever I'm recording, it takes forever. Good. Now, while that's idling away, I'm just going to go shut that and then drive this out of the garage because it doesn't need to be in here so we shall into driving mode and yeah, then we should get a little tug um. oh great there's something else broken on it isn't there really what else could have gone wrong I guess I'm going to have to go through the whole thing. And yeah, the clutch is back in, is there? Maybe I should have tested this before I started up the video again. Oh well, I guess. Now, what else could have come wrong? A drift. Okay, I actually want you to go back, don't I? Because I need access to underneath. Yeah. Well, that looks done up. Well, that looks done up. I wouldn't be surprised if there's no juice in it. Hang on. Let's see if there's actually. Although, that wouldn't explain the gears not engaging. I'm just going to have to check all the bolts, I guess. But let's start with these. some of this. Here was me thinking I was up. Weird. Eh, maybe there's a leak somewhere. Yeah, I suppose I should check the drive gear because that's usually another culprit. I don't remember what the friggin' things are for that one. And of course also that the gear lever is still unattached. Oh man, that looks like it's attached. And one of these levers that they are. Oh god, this is going to be fun. Troubleshooting, or the reason why I hate actually working on real cars. Alright, um, let's see what's back here. Okay, where's the uh, gearbox? Thirteen, 
You know what? Actually, I'm going to deal with this elsewhere because I only ever seem to succeed when I'm not recording. Alright, I actually have no idea what I did, but I somehow got it going again. And I actually... Hmm. Might need to adjust that. But that got that one right sorted, and I have no idea what it was in the end. All I know is I just type, tried typing a bunch of bolts, and then it suddenly started working. So I guess that's sorted. Now I have to figure out what I'm going to do to, for tomorrow. I assume jobs. Or I might just go to the island, just for the hell of it. The jobs first, because I do need to want this car to be ready for the rally on next Saturday. So if you enjoyed the video, leave me a like, and if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe for more daily videos. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time in my summer car.